Welcome back, Rust Electricity lovers. And we're here to talk about the AND gate and why you need it. You may use a HBHF sensor or a floor plate like I've got here or a, a laser detector, any one of those. And they're great for if you want to activate a door or something like that because they only put out one power and that's all you need for a door controller or even a light. But if you want to activate a lot of stuff like this, which is pulling 70 odd power, you would need an AND gate. So what I've got here, I've got 100 power coming from the battery. I've got it in a branch. I've got two power sectioned off, as you can see here, two, which goes down here to power this plate. Then when you stand on it, one power comes out and goes into the B side of this AND gate. The rest of the power out of the branch, which is 97 in this case, just all goes into the A side. Now, an AND gate, as its name dictates, a and B both have to be positive for, if you like, C, which is the output, to go active. And in this case, it will output the terminal with the most power, in this case, 97. Thus, when I click on that, you can see both sides go green and C does also. The output does the job. And that powers all this, no problem. And I've got it all split up with these splitters, etc. but that's not important. The important thing is I'm pushing 97 power out with a one output power sensor using the AND gate. Here is where it's bugged, and I think it's a bug. Stick it in the comments uh, what you think. The problem is, even though this isn't active, and the main output from the branch, now as you remember on my previous uh, video, branch versus splitters, if you output a lot of power to the left hand side it constantly pulls power which I think is ridiculous but it could be by design it could be by a bug I don't know um, but this side has never been like that whatever powers outside here um, is just used as you need but when the AND gate is connected if you go to this battery it's pulling 79 power active usage 79 even though that isn't active if I disconnect this side of the branch. The branch is still connected, but now I've just disconnected it from the AND gate, which is connected to all that paraphernalia over there. Two active usage. As soon as I power the A side, even though this is not active because A and B are not live, battery pulling 79, which is ridiculous. I've, I can only assume that's some kind of bug. Um, because the logic in here should not be, you know, activating any of this. And the power draw, the current draw is not there. So this just doesn't make sense. I can kind of see with a branch if you allocate power to the left hand side. Maybe the logic inside is pulling power. Although this thing would get hot from that. I know I'm being a bit too uh, serious and uh, real life there. But this to me is a bug. But that said... It is the best and easiest way of powering multiple things, doors, turrets, if some event happens from a sensor. Very simple, very quick. Comments below on what you think. Uh, thanks for popping in, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>